What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing an oil change on a 2007 Pontiac Vibe. It's first gen Vibe. Also applies to a Matrix. Toyota Matrix. Also applies to Toyota Corollas. All these use the same engine. They have the same layout. Use the same specs. So we're going to start today. First, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pop our hood. Or Latch there. Next, your hood latch right here, pull up and secure it. Good. Now we're going to undo our oil filter, our oil cap here. Next, we're going to be doing our oil filter and oil plug underneath. We want to go and take the oil filler cap uh, off that way it doesn't have a vacuum and everything just going to drain out nice and easy so we're going to go and take our jack four jack scissor jack what have you and we're going to put it right under here jack it up get a little more clearance make sure to always use a jack stand then we're going to go and start our drain for that we're going to go and use regular old drain pan and then we're going to get the appropriate size uh, socket here so here we, let's jack it up and get to work all right we have it jacked up we have our jack stand placed underneath oil pans in place now we're going to take our number 14 wrench here go right here and we're going to get this loosened so there's a little bit of a door there. Hmm. And it's on there normally. Doesn't do too tight. I do like to try to wiggle back and forth just to kind of break the thread. That's why I'm going both ways. If your wrench is a little bit not as torquey, you can definitely use a ratchet. It's just a real short wrench, but we did go and get that off. So now, just gonna pull this, and we're gonna let it drain. Once this is drained, we're going to move on to the oil filter. All right, so I'm waiting for that to drain. So I'm going to go over what I'm going to be putting in it. So we're going to be using the Castrol Edge Full Synthetic with the uh, 5W30. It's what's called for for the engine. The uh, Castrol uh, Edge Advanced Synthetic does a really great job in protecting this long wear. You can kind of extend your uh, change um, intervals a little bit. Also going to be using a K&N um, oil filter, so model for this engine, the uh, 1ZZFE is going to be a SO or HP uh, 1003, I think there's even a uh, SP or something like that, all of them are the same fit as long as you get the number on there, they do a little bit different on what they're supposed to do, but one's more performance. But either way, it's going to go and work for us. Filters work extremely well. Never use a, a Fram or anything like that. If you go into any of the actual testing of them, you'll go and see that there is... They don't stand up as well. They tend to go and blow out on the first cold start. Um, after that, they're pretty much useless. Uh, the K&Ns, the Mobile Ones, um, they go and hold up pretty well and actually do what they're supposed to for a longer period of time. So that's why we're using these. Um, total cost for this, you're looking about $10 for the filter, about $20 for the oil, just go down to your local Walmart. If you pick them up at a individual quartz, you're gonna be using a lot more, they probably about four or $5 a quart. So I think that this is about 20 bucks, you'll run about 
know, probably 25, 30, getting the same amount of oil. And this is going to go and get you what all you need for this change, as well as a little extra in case you need to top off at some point. So let's go and take a look at our oil, see how that's doing. And well, it's just about done. It's a real narrow stream. I like to wait till it actually starts uh, dripping, make sure most of that's out. And then after that, we get our oil filter out. Uh, we'll let that drain. Shop legs clean that up, put the new filter, replace the plug, and then start to fill. So, check back here in a sec as soon as we get to the uh, oil filter. All right, oil's going off at a nice slow drip, just like we wanted. Now we'll go take our nut. Back, get our wrench. Don't do it too tight. It's tight enough. Get some other oil. Now we're going to move over here where we have our oil filter. Make sure the drain pan underneath. Good. And if you did this right, last time, you're not going to have to use any tools for it. Just going to take your shop rag. There we go. This part's always a little bit messy. Just unscrew that. Drain all the excess into the pan. And then we'll wipe it off, and we'll go and switch it out for the new filter. Um, put this one in the box. No, it's not making too much of a mess. So we'll do that now. So we have the old oil filter. Put that in the box face up so it doesn't spill anymore. We got our new one. We got our oil open. Just dip your finger in. You want to go right around the seal. Never want to put anything with dry seal. It's got to have some kind of lubricant in it. Uh, optional, you can go and put a little bit of oil actually in the filter here. Kind of prime it a little bit. Uh, it's not really too necessary, but it can save a little bit of time uh, just with the uh, initial startup and how much you have to re-add to the uh, crankcase. So we're going to fill, fill it up. Uh, not too much, but you can see in there. We're going to go like right before that little red ring, a little bit below that. Now we're going to put it on, always hand tight. We're going to fill it up, then we'll put it on. All right, so we got our oil filter. I'll make sure it threads on real nice. If it doesn't, do not force it. If that means you're cross threading it, you're going to end up with a world of problems up to and including a blown engine. You're going to have it cross threaded, and all of a sudden you end up leaking out oil. You can't get a new filter on, you can't get this one off. But it should spin on nice and easy. And you don't want to go and have it any bit too tight. You don't want to have to use a wrench on it. So you just save shop rag just so you get some oil off. And just do hand tight here. Don't gotta be a muscle man. There we go. It's on there. Don't have any other excess oil. Just keep our area clean. So we got the drain plug torqued. We're gonna have our oil filter on, and now we can fill it up. So for filling it up, we're gonna go and take down the jack stand. Take down the jack. We want to be as level as we can. Uh, you can fill it while it's there, but you still need to check and refill afterwards. So that's just a good step you got to do anyway. Do it first. So for the one ZZ FE, that's in your Corolla Vibra Matrix. Um, also a few other things then, but that's what we're focusing on here. It takes 3.75 quarts. So you can see the measurement on here. We started off at five, so 3.75 means we're left with one and a quarter 
should have it right about there. Here's our funnel, put it in. You don't have to if you have a really steady hand, but it does need help. And we're just gonna add our oil in here. Nice clean oil compared to what came out of it. On this, I do it about every 5,000 miles. 3,000 was just something that was made up by oil change places as they wanted to come back. There's no actual, like, any mechanical reason for it. You can even go and push a little bit further with full synthetic. Uh, some vehicle manufacturers even recommend going up about 10, 12,000. I think that is a little bit excessive. Uh, I did do it before on some BMWs, but uh, I really think if we go and do every 5,000, should be about right. Here, we're just under two. One and a half. Almost there. It's better add too little and add more than it is to add too much and have to drain it. So we're gonna put our cap on, start it, let it run for a little bit, and then we'll see what we're at. All right, so we let it run for a second. You're gonna take your dipstick. I'm not gonna take this reading. I'm gonna wipe it off. It does have little markings on it. You wanna be right between there. That's nice and clean. Put it back in. it out and see where we're at so we are still low we're gonna add a little bit more and repeat until it's right between there after that we'll be done that is how you change your oil on your one ZZFE in a Corolla Matrix or Vibe remember to like comment subscribe and share if you found this helpful anyways till next time